subscribe. And go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos and updates on a lot of our animals. And look at this madness behind us. We had a huge winter storm that came in and dropped, I don't know, what is that, like six inches of snow last night? Yeah, I'd say that's a, a good five. <laughs> there is snow everywhere and the kids are enjoying playing in it this morning. And then we're gonna go get our incubator together. It's time, we've been pairing up females, so we gotta finish our incubator up. But first, we're gonna play in the snow and have some morning tea. So, you're gonna see in the footage that the first bit of the footage that I have is actually from about a week ago when Daddy was off work. We did half of the incubator then, and we're gonna finish it up now. So, some of the footage you're gonna, you can tell that there's no snow in the background like there is now. So, I'll kind of cut in and out. All right, so here is our fabulous incubator, or soon to be incubator. This thing is huge. Here, Daddy, go stand next to it so we can see how big it is. All right. We did that when we got it. I know, but we never posted that. The hubby is 6'3". That thing is huge. That's going to hold a lot of eggs. <laughs> Definitely big enough for a first season. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so here is our supplies. This is the thermostat we went with. The VE200 by Vivarium. We got that from Reptile Basics. What is that? The 12-inch yeah. heat tape. Those are all the connectors and everything to wire up the heat tape. We got some lights. These are all the light connectors. And then the fans that we are going to hook up to make sure the air circulates. And I'll leave all of this in the description down below so you can see what we used for this. So this is what the inside currently looks like. There's all our supplies again. And just to show you how big this is, this is one of those six quart buckets that we'll be using to put eggs in. And oh my gosh, look how many you can fit on there. What, at least six on one and you can stack them. That's gonna hold a lot of eggs. Can we fit in here together? What are you doing, Daddy? Uh, taking out the light fixture, because uh, one light ain't good enough. <laughs> I need a million. We're professionals. All right, back to the video. <laughs> back to the video at hand. <laughs> One hood down. Daddy got all the useless stuff out, so now we can put all the useful stuff back in. All right, so Daddy took this faceplate off because there is a hole right here that goes down into the incubator and we are gonna run the power cord to the heat tape up here to be able to plug into the thermostat. So the thermostat will sit up here and it looks all nice and clean when it's back together. You feel better now that the sticker's off? Well, technically, we can use that sticker again because when you remove it with heat, it keeps glue on it. So, so you're keeping it? Is no. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Get the tape measure. Five. 
<laughs> Genius. <laughs> <laughs> he agrees. Does it fit or did you mess it up? No, it's perfect. It's... We'll be able to run the lights across the top. Sweet. And how do you do it? One at a time. <laughs> very, very carefully. All right, just take two. <laughs> now that you can see what the hell she's doing. Somewhat. This is how I did it last time. I can remember it's been a while. See? You line up the hole. Woo! Okay, there we go. I got my heat sash. I don't get mine. <laughs> don't, don't get so close. This is not the optimal way to do this. Woo! Well, no, we can tell when we do it mommy's <laughs> way because we're using any other, any freaking tool you can find. No, I haven't bought in a single hole punch. All right, next. Enough criticizing mommy. Let's go. Anyways, we got the we got the two-sided tape on, and then we got this side with the what are these called? That is a uh, insulation tape. There it's a uh, thicker rubber tape. There Prevents go. moisture and conductivity. There you go. So we got that side on, and now we have to go find our tool because we have misplaced it uh, to put these ends on, and then we'll get this first section of heat tape on in ink. Ready to tap? Oh, hey, look. <laughs> right next to the other $90 pliers. Oh, goodness. Go figure. All right, now we can proceed now that we've located the correct tool. <laughs> Here, little gappy, 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 gappy. <laughs> I know that's the hardest part. <laughs> Especially with your big old ogre fingers. Here, little gappy, 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 gappy. Oh. 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 Incubator. It's husband size. <laughs> How big is that? <laughs> Some men are bigger than others. Hi! <laughs> I see your mother's been telling stories about me again, has she? You crack yourself up. <laughs> Hell yeah. tape almost in so in order to hook one heat tape to the other we just bought an extra cord and daddy cut it and we added some different connectors so we can attach it to this side so that way we only have one power cord coming out to the thermostat smooth it out daddy smooth it out What are we doing next? Uh, can you pass me the ducker tape? Ducker tape? We're doing some LED lighting so we can actually see in our incubator. <laughs> Not oh. flashlight style. What? What is A light controller. Oh. Power, bright, dim. Cool, yeah. It's a dimmer. On and off switch and a dimmer for the lights. Where are you putting that? I think I'll put 
right up behind there. Yep. Sweet. So this is where we left off. What day is it, Daddy? What day is it that we're working on? It's a day later. No, it's day three that we are now working on this incubator, huh? We had to take a break because we didn't have the right connectors we figured out, which now we have. And there they, are those the right ones? Yeah. Yeah, those are the T's, right? Yeah, no. Oh yeah, yeah, T's. Yeah. So now we got the right ones, now we can finish lighting. Did Yay! You, did you open these? No, I don't think I did. Uh, I hope. They were open. Oops. Those are the right ones? Oh yeah, I did open those. These are them. I forgot. Yep, there's the T's for the lighting. <laughs> you can't do it!
Good work. Mr. Probe. Oh man, it is done and finished. We just have to do a few uh, personalized touches to it still, but it is in working, perfectly functioning order. We are waiting for it to heat up and we will give an update on this bad boy in a few days. It's done. Cool. It's huge, huh? <laughs> you guys excited to fill that thing with eggs? Yeah! Dude, the light in this thing is like perfect for vlogging. <laughs> right? It's <laughs> like... if you don't turn it up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this is where we're gonna end the vlog. We finally have our DIY cooler incubator done. It's about time. It's finally done. All right, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. <laughs> You're Blake. Stay safe, stay sane. Get out there and make <laughs> your own footprints. Bye.